What up? This is Big Body Cars here. Uh, someone had let me know they didn't didn't get an update video when I finally got all this installed in the car. So I wanted to make sure I give y'all an update of what I got going on here. Uh, finally got this put in. As you can see, I fiberglassed the dash. I put some, I think those are like three inch tweeters there. And I put some four inch coaxials there. All that is fiberglass. That is just a piece of plastic fiberglass in with hose drilled in it so the vents will still work. Uh, that texture on this is uh, Rust-Oleum Bedliner, which looks pretty good. I may clear it. I haven't made my mind up yet. I cleared a piece, and it looks a little dull when you clear it. I kind of like the way it shines there, so I don't know if I'll do that. Um, but you can see I'm still working on the car. I haven't put the door panels in at all. I did get the seats recovered, though, and I got one of them in, but I hadn't put the seats back in. But I did get the console back in. Um, this is the Auto meter, I want to say 7,000 series, 7,001, something like that. It's the universal one. What I mean by that, it comes with a plate here that goes there. I pretty much just cut that out, fiberglass that in, body worked it. I had to cut that vent in half there. I actually got rid of the vent that was on the other side of that and that little wood piece in the middle, and I put that tablet there. That is a 8-inch uh, Fire Tab HD. Uh, stay away from these tablets if you're going to do something like this because they don't have GPS built in. There's a way around it, but it's not worth the trouble. Uh, luckily for me, I have Android Auto. I have CarPlay set up on this, so I don't have to use the GPS from the tablet anymore. So that eliminated that. Uh, what you're looking at here is a skin lay over Android. Uh, and what I mean by that, this is a fire tab that has been rooted and turned into a Android tablet. As you can see, you got all your normal apps just like Android would. But it's actually got a skin over it that, because uh, uh, I'm pushing buttons because I'm trying to show y'all. It's got a skin over it called CWG um, Car Dash something. Uh, I hate to tell y'all that and I'll tell you the name of it. Let me look, I'll tell you real quick. But you get it off of, uh, you actually get it off of the Amazon store. Car Web Guru is the name of it. It's that app right there. And you can get it off the, the Android Google Play Store, I'm sorry. And then you can go in here and you can design all these different little pages. Like that's one that just shows you that. This is one that kind of simulates a car. You can change this background here. You can change all these icons to do anything you want them to do. Uh, I got that one there again. You can change these icons to do whatever you want them to do. Got that one there. Shows my music, shows my speed, but my GPS doesn't work on there. So it doesn't unless I do that hoop to jump through which is not worth it uh, even got one here that shows maps again this is using my internet to get the location now but when you're driving it's not that accurate even with my external GPS receiver that's my dash beeping let me know the car isn't on uh, something else I added to this was a knob here so conveniently this radio here is going to be basically my processor it works fine I can cut up and down with this remote I can do all that but I didn't want to have to reach up there and touch it every time I wanted to do something. So in my mind, I said, you know what would be better is if I could actually just reach down here on a knob. So this is a USB universal knob that I've ran to this tablet up here. And as you watch, if I turn it here, it'll actually turn the volume up and down there. I can mute the volume, unmute it, and I can change the track. And as you can see, the volume go around right there. So this just conveniently gave me a way to be able to cut that up and down. Um, again, this isn't bad to do, but it takes a good little bit of time. You'll have to, I had to extend that down to get that to fit, cut it in there to make that fit. The tablet is held in by actually a plastic case for the tablet. All I did with that was cut it out to trim to fit in here, fiberglass it, bundled it, et cetera, et cetera. Not perfect, but it, it, it works. And then I bedlined it and did it that way. Uh, someone asked me how this looked and what it actually turned out like when it was finally done. I told them I'd give them a little update video. And I know that's quick and brief, but that's that's how that looks. These gauges, though, I really like this. I'm going to show you all these. So you can see they're pretty accurate. They work pretty good. Got a good little response. They got different little ones you can do, too, I like about it. You got four different ones to choose from. This is the one that comes on when you buy it. Uh, do this one. You can do this one. This is the only 
one you can change the colors. Uh, the rest of them are pretty much set to whatever color you put them at. And it's pretty straight up install though. The actual gauges come with everything you need. I have an LS swap in this car, which I'm pretty sure y'all guys have seen already, but I'll show y'all again just to make sure you know. I have an LS swap, so it come with all the sending units for the LS swap to work. There was no real mystery to that. It comes with everything you need. Uh, like I said, this isn't much of an update, just a quick little video, because somebody asked me how this actually looked when I got done with it, and I told them I'd show them what it looked like and how it turned out. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, my upholstery guy still got the lid to the console. I got to get that back. I've got to dye my seat belts. And I've got to finish putting all this back together. Uh, as you can see, I got my T-tops, all the metal in it, replaced and redone. This whole front piece here has been replaced, which I think I did a video on that already. But again, just giving y'all a quick little update. I know this is short and brief for this big man body car. Y'all have a good one.